status quo refers to the existing state of affairs or the current condition of a particular situation or system. It represents the way things are at a given moment in time, without any significant changes or alterations. The term status quo is often used to describe the prevailing or established circumstances, norms, or practices in a society, organization, or individual's life. In a broader societal context, the status quo encompasses various aspects of life, including social, political, economic, and cultural dimensions. It represents the current state of social structures, institutions, and power dynamics. The status quo can reflect the distribution of wealth, access to resources, and the prevailing social hierarchies. In this sense, it is a snapshot of the existing order in society. Political systems and governments often seek to maintain the status quo to ensure stability and continuity. Changes to the political status quo can be disruptive and may lead to uncertainty and resistance from those who benefit from the current system. Political leaders and institutions may resist change in order to preserve their authority in the established order. Economically, the status quo can refer to the existing economic conditions, such as inflation rates, employment levels, and income distribution. Economic policies and decisions are often made with the goal of maintaining or improving the current economic status quo. For example, governments may implement monetary and fiscal policies to stabilize the economy and prevent major fluctuations. Culturally, the status quo encompasses societal norms, values, and customs. These cultural norms can shape behavior, attitudes, and expectations. Challenges to the cultural status quo may come in the form of social movements advocating for civil rights, gender equality, or other changes to traditional norms. In organizations and businesses, the status quo represents the current state of operations, strategies, and management practices. It reflects the existing corporate culture, hierarchies, and decision-making processes. Companies may resist changes that disrupt their established business models or threaten their market position. The concept of the status quo is not inherently positive or negative. It can be seen as a stabilizing force that provides predictability and order in society or organizations. However, it can also be a source of frustration and resistance when individuals or groups believe the changes are necessary to address inequalities, injustices, or inefficiencies. Efforts to challenge the status quo often come in the form of social movements, reforms, or advocacy for change. These movements aim to alter the existing state of affairs to better align with their goals and values. Whether it's advocating for civil rights, environmental conservation, or economic reform, those seeking change typically face resistance from those invested in maintaining the status quo. In conclusion, the status quo represents the current state of affairs in various aspects of life, including society, politics, economics, culture, and organizations. It is a snapshot of the existing order, which can either provide stability or be a barrier to progress, depending on the circumstances and perspectives of those involved. Challenging the status quo is often a catalyst for social and organizational change, as it seeks to address perceived injustices or inefficiencies in the prevailing system.